Good morning, everybody. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another college week in my life. It's Monday morning, 8.30. I'm eating a banana because I simply cannot work out unless there's something in my tummy. We're going to spin class. It's theme week at the spin studio this week, so that means there's a Miley Cyrus ride this morning, so we're gonna go to that. I've got a Justin Bieber ride tomorrow morning. We're gonna head to spin. I'm so excited just to get the day started. We've got class later, lots of fun stuff. It's a beautiful sunny day. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. She played so much Hannah Montana. Like, blast from the past, baby. Put me in the best mood. It's so beautiful out. I have about an hour and 15 minutes, so I have to head to my class. We're gonna go back and make some breakfast. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna start texting a ton of people in the morning. Fun facts that I get off of Twitter. This is from Uberfax. I sent it to Delaney, my dad and my mom, and Ryan. I said, good morning. Did you know a group of goats is called a trip? I also sent it to Brooke and Ryan and yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, am I hungry. Just sitting down before I showered to kind of look at my emails and everything of the sort. And what an amazing thing to see. This is our last week of class. All right, let's shower. I just showered. I feel so much better. I'm not gonna wash my hair. It's gonna be a hat day. I literally haven't washed my hair since last Tuesday and it's lasted so long. I would have washed it today 1000%, but um, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So like there's no point because she basically colors it and then washes it after. So I'd rather just not do that. About to head to my retail planning and buying class. You guys, I just found out. So the reason I go to this class is because we do these Excel assignments. And if you go in class, she's just a lot more, you know, hands-on, super helpful. Like I just really appreciate it. All of these Excel, you know, assignments I've been doing have been extra credit essentially. And your top four highest Excel assignments, which I literally get 100 on almost all of them, she replaces with your lowest quiz scores. I have been not doing well in the quizzes. Like I haven't been doing horribly, but not amazing. So that's like really hype because if I knew that in the beginning of the semester, I bet I wouldn't have always done the Excel assignments, which is just so bad. But I'm just like, oh, it's not required, you know? But now it's in my favor. I think I'm gonna walk all the way to class. It's 11 o'clock and class is at 11.30 and it's a bit of a walk. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a mobile order for Starbucks and grab it on my walk and walk to class. It's 65 degrees outside. Hopefully this outfit is suffice. Wearing my Outdoor Voices exercise dress. I just got it in red. I'll link it down below. This Nike dry fit hat is my life. I'll also link it down below. I think I got it off Amazon. Tote bag um, from Strike Magazine. And then I think I'm gonna switch into these shoes really quick actually. They're just a little bit more comfortable for longer walks. Okay, yeah, these are a lot better. True mom vibes today. So that was our last Excel assignment, which means that might be my one of my last times going in a classroom ever. I think the exam's in person, but yikes, that's so crazy. All right, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen on my stories that I attempted to make a little green juice smoothie, and it was quite good. It was very green tasting, and it was definitely more smoothie-y. Um, and these are the ingredients. It was very simple and it was really easy. I just have a little Nutribullet. I don't have a big blender. I'll probably get one, you know, in the fall in my next apartment. But for now, we're gonna do this. I got a ton of kale the other day, super fresh. I'm gonna put as much kale in here as possible because it condenses so much and the more the merrier, obviously. I'm gonna do a half of a lemon and probably just like this much ginger and using this um, Bold's House Farms Daily Greens Juice as a base. And I'm gonna add ice this time because last time it was a little warm, <laughs> so I'd add ice cubes after. Um, but this is pretty good, because I know like at Arden's Garden where I go, they always use like a little juice base. So this has 
apples, celery, also some kale, spinach, and romaine, a squeeze of lemon, kiwi, and cucumber. So also has some other fun stuff in there. And then I just combine it all and it's just one little sippy. So let's do it. I mean, look at all that goodness. We got the lemon and ginger on the bottom, put the juice in, put some ice in. Wow, actually this time it's more juicy. Maybe it's because I added the ice. So it's a little one, but I just need a quick little, quick little boost of greens. Perfect. Add a bamboo straw. We're good to go. Now we are back in the lair. <laughs> Got my green juice prepping for Gals on the Go podcast. Tonight we're recording with Grace and also known as lipsticks and lattes. Just passed the bar exam. I'm so excited to chat with her. Um, and I also have two videos to edit. I've been vlogging a lot more, so we're gonna do that. All right, I just finished editing the whole video in one sitting. I am about to head to lunch. <sighs> I've become really great friends with Stephanie, the one who took our grad photos, um, she took a couple of my grad photos. I, I had two Stephanie photographers. This is Stephanie Syndrome. We've become really close. She lives in Savannah now. She used to go to UGA and she's been doing, you know, grad photo shoots like every weekend. So with that, she will drive up for the weekend and stay at her like parents house kind of close by, but she has these like long blocks of time in between shoots. And she was like, hey, do you wanna grab lunch? And I said, yeah. So I enjoy picking her brain. She's super creative minded and always just so uplifting and fun to be around. So she's picking us up Maypole on her drive-in, which is basically where you pick like a base of protein, a couple sides, it's delicious. And she's never had it. So I placed an order for us, she picked it up. I'm gonna meet her there and have a little lunch. And it's so beautiful outside. It's now 74 degrees. All right, I'm here with Steph. Hey. It's so nice out today in College Square. Love it, eating maple. Woo. <laughs> you guys, I'm so pumped. My phone charm or phone bees, whatever you wanna call it, finally came in the mail. I got them from String Ting. That's where everyone said to get them from. I know there's like a ton of Etsy shops or you can obviously make your own. I'm just simply not very crafty. I'm so excited. I literally got this phone case and the phone beads like at the same time because I feel like because I think they go well together. So apparently I just take the phone case off, or I don't even know if I need to take the phone case off. And you put the charms through the um, volume hole. Let's see. I'm so excited, I feel so Pinterest-y. It's so funny, it used to be like Tumblr girls, and now it's like Pinterest girls. Do you guys use Pinterest? Like I'm an active Pinterest user. I go on it every day at some point in the day. Yay! Oh my gosh, I, so now it's all like dangly. I get, can you hold it like this? Is that like a thing people do? It feels so dangerous. I'm about to record an episode of Gals on the Go podcast with Brooke. We're recording our intro now. And then um, we're gonna hop on with Grace. Brooke is my co-host, if you guys are new around here. I just put on a little makeup. Ooh, the hair is still not washed. I just showered again because I felt gross. I don't know why I'm obsessed with showers. It's just a thing, okay? It's not a bad thing to be obsessed with. I just like felt dirty. We here at Gals on the Go are trying to make it this perfect tone for your needs, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. We've got your back, hey, hey, hey. So it is now 11.30 and I was at bed. I just took some melatonin and I'm gonna set out my workout outfit for the morning. I'm so excited, I'm going to a Justin Bieber themed spin class. I'm excited to see like what, you know, music she chooses, like, cause he has so many albums, obviously. There's new Justin, old Justin, mid Justin, all the things. Set out the workout outfit. I'm going to hop into bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. the opportunity to take a Justin Bieber themed spin class, do it. I am like on another level right now. I'm levitated. <laughs> um, it was so much fun. It was literally the best. Bailey was the instructor. Shout out Bailey. It was so much fun. There was, she played Yummy, which I'm pretty sure was my number one played song last year on Spotify, like on the playlist. So I was just like, let's go. And she played like some 
oldies like all around the world and uh eeny meeny money my lover and then like we're st we stretched to peaches it was just overall a great class and i'm just really happy i went because i'm not a morning workouter as you guys know so it was a good time it's 10 a.m on the docket today 12 30 we're getting my hair done it's better to not have just washed your hair um so i'm getting color and should probably bump up my extensions while i'm there I'm really excited i really want to be like lighter again but i also want to be healthy so i'm going to talk to her about that i'll probably be there for honestly four or five hours so um, i'm going to pack a lunch uh, i need to make breakfast right now I'm gonna go there i have to like do a school meeting while i'm at the hair salon with my professor so that's gonna be really really funny um and then I'm meeting with my group project later today at 6.45. So that's the layout for the day. Someone asked me if I get tired of my breakfast that I make in the morning. The answer is no. I love this and for some reason after I work out, I crave this. <laughs> I get a little bit of schoolwork done before we head to the hair appointment. It's my favorite day of the year. Well, this happens a couple times a year, but it's hair day. Last time I went to the hair salon, like a month ago, I just got my extensions bumped up. I didn't do a color. I really obviously love being platinum, but I want healthy hair. So I don't know, I'm gonna chat. I go to Tribe Hair Co here in Athens. Probably my last or second to last time going for color. I'll probably come one more time over the summer because I don't know if I'm moving fully out in May. Like, I'll probably go home for the summer and then come back in July to, like, get every everything. I don't really know. I don't really know. So maybe when I come back in July, I'll get my hair done with her one more time. But here's the before color. Just, like, basically touching the roots. My ends don't need to be touched, really. I've truthfully never looked better. Processing. Oh my gosh, you guys! I love it! I had her style me straight today, mainly because I am so hungry. You guys, do you guys even want to know what time it is right now? It's 5.20 p.m. I was there for so long. I'm so glad I got lunch. Um, I love it. We basically just did, you know, overall brighten up with highlights. And um, we did, like she left them extra long on for the front pieces and toned them a little extra. So you see there's like a little bit lighter. Where's the lighting here? I'm obsessed. We didn't bump up my extensions today. So I'll do that in a couple weeks, but I'm obsessed. Delaney just went to Target. I just got back and we are gonna make the one pot pasta again. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys on Pinterest. So we did it once before and it was absolutely delicious and Delaney's been talking about it for a while so we're finally doing it again. You literally put everything in the pan together and you add a little water and you cook it all and it's just so delicious. And it feels like a little healthy, you know, cause like veggies. So I always use, um, where is the pan? Is it back here? We used my always pan last time and it worked amazingly cause it's like very deep and it just cooks so well and there's a lid so we can kind of speed up the cooking process a little bit. So I'll link this pan down below. It's my best friend besides Delaney. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna get started. All right, here we go. Starting with zip pasta in the middle. I really have to keep rewatching this. Oh my God, looks so pretty. I think that's why we like this, because it's just fun. Now we're adding olive oil. What? Good, good. I guess I can start heating this up. And then we're gonna add water, bring it to a boil, and once it starts boiling, How much water? oh, you've got it. Um, start with that. Once it starts boiling, then we can start mixing it all together. Oh boy, baby, baby, baby. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Y'all already know, dig in.
Um, so I just put on a little bit of makeup, changed my outfit. I'll show you guys in a second featuring my new bag. I'm headed to Polly's, literally my favorite place in the entire world. Um, with one of my group projects for school for my brand management class. Our group has gotten honestly so close. They're such cool gals that I want to stay in touch with, you know, post-grad. And one of them's actually moving to New York City this summer, so I'm so pumped. Um, but we wanted an excuse to hang out, but also work on a group project. So we're gonna go to Polly's and work on a group project, bring computers, you know, the whole the whole bit, but dress up because we're all fashion merchandise majors, you know? So here is my fit tonight top is from year of ours it's so comfortable it's like stretchy it's so fun for summer spring jeans are a pretty little thing i'll link all of this below bag i got off of poshmark it's a telfar orange small shopper bag i'm obsessed with it this is gonna be my bag of the summer for sure um i was really nervous i wouldn't be able to get it because i missed the drop but people like buy them brand new off of telfar and then sh uh sell them brand new on poshmark so check them out if you're ever wanting a telfar bag all right, you guys, I am back now. I'm gonna get some PJs on, get in bed, watch some television. I'm so sleepy. I think it's because I woke up so early for spin this morning. It's like hitting me, but I'm still really happy with my hair. We got a little bit done for our group project. We didn't get a ton. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. You know you slept well when like all of your pillows stayed there. I love waking up the day after getting your hair done and realizing that it's like different. Do you guys ever feel this way? Let's go get some coffee. Need it. Major vibes this morning. I love when I have mornings like this where I can put the NYC skyline on YouTube on my TV. Got my coffee. Ran out of cream, so we're going black coffee today. About to do my doing well daily. All right, what's it gonna be? What's today's quote? Kindness begins with understanding we all struggle. I absolutely love this one. I think it's so important when you can get envious of other people or you start to talk bad about someone or even think bad about someone. Remember that we all have something we're going through. That's so important. This is the planner I designed in collaboration with Doing Well Daily. I handpicked all of these quotes and designed both pages. Um, catered towards college student or a really just motivated individual. I will link it down below. It's still on sale. Um, this page is the what I always like to start with in the morning. You trace this quote. You write the day. You write what you're grateful for. Affirmations. How are you going to self-care today? What your mood is. This is um, cups of eight ounces of water. And then when you have gotten a little more caffeinated, you head over to this page which is, you know, you've got your schedule here, you have your life to-dos, which for me is like grocery shop, you know, buy toilet paper, go get a package, whatever. Work and side hustle, you can decide how you wanna differentiate this. For me right now as a student, work is school. Side hustle is YouTube podcasts and everything in between. I'm like running out, I'm so sad, but I definitely have another one already, so go check it out. A little commotion for the bagel, Sammy. I'm obsessed. We have ham, egg, everything bagel. Yum. I spent my morning planning and then I promoted our podcast episode that came out today, which is um, Gals on the Go, if you guys didn't know. We upload new episodes every Wednesday and then I was promoting my new video I posted today, which is a Sunday vlog. If you guys haven't checked it out already. Now I'm about to hop on a class. Um, well, it's like a meeting about our final project. It's optional, but I'm gonna go on because I have some questions and I feel like she'll give us some insider info. Today's a big day. Today's a very exciting day. At 2.30 today, I'm getting my second vaccine. Pfizer gang, let's go. I love the whole like, are you are you Pfizer or are you Moderna? Like, it's so funny, but it's a great thing to chat about. So get vaccinated. Yeah, that's happening. And then I have just some schoolwork I have to do. I have to FaceTime my group project member, or I guess not group, my partner, because it's just the two of us. I have to FaceTime her. We have a retail planning and buying project. That's what the class I'm going on for is. So we need to like check in. None of this is due until like next week or the week after, but I just, I'm freaking out. And then last minute, Ryan and I decided to buy tickets to go to the Braves game tonight. That's baseball and we, it's so weird too. A year ago, or no, I guess not a year ago, two years ago today, we went to a Braves game too, which is weird. Like we had no idea. I checked my stat memories after the fact and I was like, wait, we, so crazy that two exact years later we're going to a Braves game again. It's just like a fun activity. It's also in Atlanta and um, 
the stadium isn't like full capacity or whatever. So we just thought it would be really fun to go to a Braves game. I love where the Braves stadium is, Truist Park. There's the battery right near where there's all these restaurants and stuff. And it's just a really fun vibe and a couple of our other friends like that our couples are going. So we thought it would be a nice little evening activity. And like I said, I'm trying to do everything I can before I graduate. So that's what's on the docket for today. Hopping on my Zoom meeting, drinking one of these green juices. Let's go. You guys, I am so sleepy. Ugh, it's 12 o'clock. I just got off the Zoom. It was really helpful. It took lots of notes. So I'm glad I went, but I'm so sleepy. So I'm gonna do what I do best. I'm kidding. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm hoping that kind of wakes me up a little to take a body shower. And I'm actually gonna hop in the car. My friend has a Braves jersey that she said I could wear because I don't own one. Because last time I went to a Braves game, I borrowed someone's jersey. It's just no need. And I'm about to move. I'll probably get a Yankees jersey. I'm kidding. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a bit of a Braves fan, though, ever since coming to Georgia. Like, I don't know if... Like, I have a Yankees hat, but I know way more about the Braves than I do New York teams or even, like, the Tampa Bay Rays at this point. <laughs> All right, here is the little errands fit. I love my new bag, it makes me so happy. Outdoor Voices exercise dress, nothing new here. Um, I wore this when I got my vaccine number one, so that's kind of funny, but um, let's go get the Braves jersey. And who knows, might go get my eyebrows waxed. If I can like hop in a nail salon really quick, they give great eyebrow waxes. I already feel 10 times better. It is so nice out. She also asked me to water her flowers for her because she's not home. How cute. She has a little watering can. All right, let's go do this. Hopefully this is enough. I don't know how to do this. Just got my eyebrows waxed. I literally haven't probably gotten them waxed in 2021. So it was much needed and they look so good. Vaccine bound, here are my essentials. Grapes, liquid IV. Let's do it. And our vaccine card. All right. Ooh, there's someone opening the door. Oh, sorry. It's time, dose number two. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's girl summer. Being served. <laughs> Just got back and we're making Amy's pizza. I've had this in the freezer forever. So I'm excited to eat that. Just got dressed for the game. I'll show you guys my fit in a little. Currently, you know, working on the do. All right, you guys, we are Braves game bound. Uh, Ryan's about to come pick me up. Here is my fit. Very, I, I just realized these jeans are a little bit baggier than I remembered. I don't know if it's too much but it's just comfortable i'm wearing this cami from aritzia just something simple just because i wanted to leave this unbuttoned this is my friend abby's jersey i really like it i like how it has the red sleeves i don't even know yeah i didn't think it was any sort of player jeans are from white fox i'll link them down below i absolutely adore them and then i'm just wearing my nike air force ones and yeah just it's minimal makeup earrings gonna stay super hydrated tonight um because vaccine too, you know? Why do all guys just like clean their window every time they get gas? <laughs> Why do, I, he is such a dad. I swear like all guys always do this. <laughs> Work it, love it. Braves game bound. <laughs> Braves game bound. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say that. There we go. <laughs> what would I say? Cubs game bound? I don't know. Just the way you said it. Oh. I got to drive, you know? 10 and 2. 10 and 2, Ryan. 10 and 2. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you guys how bad I had to pee. Like, I literally ran to these porta potties. True Lou. <laughs> this is so important to me. Thursday morning and I'm happy to report that I slept through the night. I slept amazing. I didn't have any sort of symptoms or if I did, I didn't wake up to them. So I'm really, really thankful for that. So, and I think I would have felt those symptoms by now, like body aches, you know, fever, stuff like that. I was a little nervous about that for my second dose, but 
we're in the clear. It might be because literally the baseball game last night, I had three water bottles. I had a liquid IV before the game and then I drank a liquid IV right before I went to bed. So I don't know, I just stayed hydrated. Just treated myself to some Chick-fil-A breakfast. I've been thinking about it all week. Oh, so good, it's my second Chick-fil-A this week. And I got an orange juice. Vitamin C. Got class in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then get on class and then we're gonna start the day. All right, let's get this day started. So I'm wearing my uniform, which is my outdoor voices exercise dress. It's not the same one as yesterday, okay? We're gonna head to College Square, which is um, just like an outdoor seating area in downtown Athens um, because I need coffee and I don't have cream here. So I'm gonna treat myself a second time. I've already Chick-fil-A breakfast. I'm gonna treat myself again and get a Starbucks coffee and bring my computer and get some of my schoolwork done outside and just like be in the fresh air. I feel like I just need to get out. I'm like so just like lazy right now. And then probably come back here, do more work. And then we have a Drake versus Nicki Minaj spin class at four. Pumped about that. And then I'm getting a spray tan. Tonight, my friends and I are doing a wig night where we all wear wigs at our apartment here. And we're doing like a slideshow of all of our funniest Snapchats of each other. Just like my small friend group, not like a huge thing, but I'm so excited. So it is a great day ahead, but I just need to get outside and like get moving. <laughs> Guys, look at these beautiful flowers we have for our kitchen. I'm obsessed. Back from College Square now. I feel 10 times better just sitting out in the good old outdoors. And I obviously drank coffee. Um, and a couple of my guy friends happened to be like walking by to go to class. So they sat down with me. I don't know. It was just a nice little time. Stopped by Target. Um, needed some more bread. They don't have great bread options, at least at this like little city Target. So I got nature's own wheat it's not the best but it'll do we're gonna do taco bowls like burrito bowls essentially so i got all the ingredients basically like i've said this before but delaney and i'll just split up who gets the ingredients for what so our dinner we had on whatever monday or tuesday night she went and got all the ingredients for that so i got taco seasoning um we got some more rice some basmati rice into the ground turkey so we're gonna basically do ground turkey rice um black beans which we already have cut up tomatoes and lettuce and just put it all and cheese if we want but i don't usually put cheese in my bowls so yeah it's like semi nutritious and it's good and it's filling all the things so that'll be our dinner tonight i also needed more cream i still just love a little cream in my coffee in the morning All right, you guys, it's time for spin. I had this weird feeling. My friend Garrison just joined Prevello and I was like, I just feel like this is a class he'd be signed up for because it's Drake versus Nicki Minaj, like amazing. So I said, Audrey, going to spin right now? And he was like, wait, literally, yes. So I'm gonna go pick him up and we're gonna go there together. I'm so pumped. Um, but yeah, workout fit, white fox boutique. I'll link it down below. I adore it. I just chugged a liquid IV. I'm just trying to stay hella hydrated. Gotta fill up my water bottle now. We're gonna get a good workout in before the weekend. I'm oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, just got back from spin. It was so much fun. Halfway through, I was like, ooh, probably shouldn't have done this because it's a little weak, a little faint, but it's okay. Not actually, but. I just took it easy. I didn't want to push my body. I was just happy to get moving. So for all the sprints, I basically just sat down and just spun. But it was really fun and it was really good. I know God I went. She played some good music. I'd say Drake definitely won that round. Um, I just love Drake, so I knew he'd win. Hi, guys. Just got back from getting a spray tan, golden sunless tan in Athens. She's my girl. I only have a couple more weeks with her. I love her. Now I'm so hungry because I didn't really have lunch. Um, we're gonna make our taco burrito bowls. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> she's been struggle bussing, you guys. It's not. It's just, it's, she's used, it's like an old one and she hasn't worn it. No, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's the base of the I know. I found you. Yeah. 
I was weak. Surprise, we decided to do tacos instead because the rice and beans were just gonna take a whole lot longer. So, just doing some tacos. Hi guys. Just had a dinner, it was so good. I'm like obsessed with that taco seasoning and the ground turkey, mm, it's so good. I'm like so full now, but our friends are about to be here. So I'm gonna put on the wig and I thought we'd do it together. I tried it on earlier and I was dying. I'm no pro at wigs. The last time I've really worn wigs were, well, I guess I have a couple times in college, but like I did theater. So this is like the theater, pardon me, so excited. I was so nervous I didn't order a wig cap, but my wig came with one. I'll link my wig down below if you guys have any wig needs. I got it off Amazon. Now for the wig. It's a pink bob. So shiny, so pretty. Um, I wanna be able to like bring this to New York and just like have a random day. So I need to figure out how to store it properly. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Like strawberry shortcake or something. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> I thought about wearing this green shirt. Oh, that could be a lot cuter with jeans. Okay, so I completely changed the whole outfit because I just loved how the green contrasted with the pink. A lot different, but fun. Jeans are from Girlfriend Denim. Top, Princess Polly. Wig, y'all already know. <laughs> Let's do a little slideshow night. I found my twin. Amazon? Amazon. <laughs> I love it. Morning, you guys. It is Friday and last night was so much fun. It was so funny to see like all these videos people had found of me from like literally freshman year. I can hear Delaney's alarm going off right now. She snoozed like five times. I've been up for a while because I had a quiz this morning at 7.45 a.m. Not 8, 7.45. But now it's done and I did really well. Okay, hey guys, so it's a little bit later, like 30 minutes later. I made breakfast and I was fully gonna go to a spin class today. I was really excited. It's one of the last theme rides, but I just canceled it because I forgot I have a math quiz also today and I have some other stuff I want to do and I honestly just feel like working in bed and being cozy and putting my New York City cityscapes on my TV and I'm like, I don't know. I just am not in like a working out mindset and I've been working out a lot this week, at least for me. So, and I don't really want to set off my spray tan. Don't ask me why, but I was in the mood for a bowl of peas. <laughs> Yay, I just finished editing and I think I'm gonna upload a video today, even though it's Friday. I had fun with some new editing. Let's go, I'm procrastinating doing schoolwork. <laughs> my friend Ty just called me and he was like, hey, are you here? I'm gonna be there in a second, I have a gift for you. Cause I think it's cause I took those guys grad photos for them last week and they said they were gonna get me a bottle of champagne. So I think he got it, it's so sweet. You guys, I could cry. <laughs> he came over with a bow and a car. This is so sweet and thoughtful. I honestly just thought they were gonna just buy me a bottle of champagne, but they got me Vuv and like wrapped it all. Okay, I just took a quiz. That was the last quiz for this class. Well, I have a final. Everyone's like, my last class, my last class, and I don't really know. Last classes are on Monday, technically. I'm also like, do I do like a last class of the day vlog? But I don't even think I, I really hope I didn't already go to my last in-person class. That's really sad. I don't really know. I'm going to end this vlog here and import the footage. You guys know the drill. I want to start editing. I just uploaded a video. So if you guys haven't seen my last college night routine ever, go check that out. I love you guys so much. I feel like this was a really long vlog and I know you guys like that. So subscribe if you're new here. More college vlogs to come. I have one more week of like classes and finals and then like a week of like graduation stuff. So lots to come. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here on this journey with me. And we'll talk soon. Talk on Wednesday. Bye guys.